my name is Marguerite Brody and I was born in Penang. Do I need to say when? No. no. <laughs> my father was a police officer and, uh, and therefore with the police. He was transferred many, many times uh, within the peninsula of Malaysia. That was Malaya at that point in time. We were a family of six siblings. I have two older brothers, two younger sisters and a younger brother. So six of us. And uh, I would say a very normal childhood, a very much middle income family uh, with, with never quite enough money. So I am of mixed parentage. My paternal grandfather was Scottish, my maternal grandfather English, and both my grandmothers Chinese. And at that point in time, with the immigration laws, I was eligible to go to the United Kingdom and settle permanently if I wanted. So I thought, oh, that would be quite nice. I'll go there and I'll become English and <laughs> not, not Malay. Um, so I did and I tried a little bit of a modeling world which I didn't particularly like and, uh, and then you know life takes various twists and turns and my husband-to-be that I had met actually in Kuala Lumpur and somehow we ended up in England together at the same time and after a very turbulent relationship, he asked me to marry him. So we came back and we got married and we started our family. And, and then I was your typical, very happy housewife, mother for 17 years. El canto del mar repite en su rumor Que noche de luna, que noche de amor Dichoso de aquel que pueda decir Yo tengo un cariño que dulce vivir. Corre, corre, barcarona por mi río de ilusión. Que en el canto. When my husband passed away, my children were the, the youngest was four, the eldest fifteen. So then, for the next almost ten years of my life, it was really focused on the children. And then, when my youngest was about twelve. I thought, well, you know, it's about time I spend a little bit of time on myself. I've always loved dancing, so I started dancing then, at that point in time. Just before the year 2000, there was a tango show traveling through the region, and it was at the Sunway Lagoon Resort. I went with my Latin ballroom teacher, and we all booked a table, and we sat there, and we watched the show. And that was my first introduction to Argentine tango. My first lesson actually was in Los Angeles. I went to visit my daughter. She knows how much I love dancing and she booked me some tango lessons. After that, I came back again to Malaysia. And again, there wasn't anything here in Malaysia. And I felt bereft, I felt sort of I wanted to continue and there was nothing I could do. So then I thought to myself, well, all right. I was already in the Latin ballroom scene and I had my group of Latin dancers. We would go out socially together, etc. So I thought, all right, if I teach them the little that I know and create another group of people who are interested in something else, then if a tango teacher was to come around in this area, we could invite that tango teacher and then begin to grow that way. So then I thought, well, I'll teach. <laughs> How do you teach when you've, you've only had six lessons? In 2005, April, May, I went to Buenos Aires for two months. And in that time, all I did was to dance tango. 
I was dancing maybe about six, seven hours a day at all the milongas I could go to. As long as my feet <laughs> could take me there, I was dancing. And I took many lessons, some private lessons, group lessons. So for two months, that's all I did. I mean, it was wonderful. I enjoyed it tremendously. <laughs> Every time I'm dancing, I'm very happy. I feel I'm transported and I'm, I'm a different person. I think I generally I'm a happy person anyway, but when I'm dancing, I'm sort of slightly out of myself. I never had a partner until 2007, when Andrea Lerka wrote to me and he said, would you mind if I come to Kuala Lumpur and start teaching tango? And I said, that would be lovely. I said, you know, we could do it together. That was when we started our first tango festival. So this 2017 is the 10th anniversary. I think we're a good combination because he's very efficient and very organized and I'm very ditzy and <laughs> disorganized. But together we work well. Our aim is that we want to learn, we want to learn from good teachers, we want to get better and better. But on the way, we want to just enjoy ourselves and we want to laugh and have fun. And I feel that after 10 years, I have achieved this. I have been able to do this, give everyone a very fun time, enjoy it myself, but at the same time, I'm very serious about what I do. One of the standard answers I've had from people when I say, you know, come and dance tango. They say, no, I've got two left feet. I can't dance, you know. And, and what I say is like, okay, if you have two left feet, you can still walk. If you can walk, you can dance. And uh, how well you dance depends entirely on yourself. So that's why when I teach, I try and first of all, get them to feel the magic of the connection. And then after that, it's entirely up to the person. So really, it's how much you put yourself into what you want to do. So you're going to dance? <laughs>